Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Pilots and the Kansas City Royals at Municipal Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is John Gelnar, whose record is 2-7 with a 5.74 ERA. And pitching for the Royals is Steve Busby, whose record is 3-7 with a 4.33 ERA. Okay, if you did not watch yesterday's ball game, you really missed something. You probably should stop this game and go back and watch yesterday's ball game, game number 122. Uh, is definitely a top 10 all-time game, uh, as I've played, you know, tens of thousands of games with Baseball Mogul. I've been playing Baseball Mogul since 2002, and uh, in that time frame, I my uh, a team that I've managed has only thrown one no-hitter, and that was LeVon Hernandez. Uh, and one of my Tigers iterations, you know, over the years. Uh, and I've had a couple thrown against me, but Dave Moorhead yesterday went eight and two-thirds innings in that game with not without giving up a hit. He gave up a few walks. I believe, I believe he gave up a total of five, including two in the ninth inning, that brought Van Kelly to the plate, and Van Kelly, with the no-hitter on the line, triples down the right field line, scoring the two runs to tie the ball game at uh, two, and uh, we ended up winning it in 10 innings. A very exciting game, um, and, uh, you know, definitely a top 10 all-time. So if you didn't watch that, I, I highly recommend it. One of the better, uh, dip, I mean, I think the closest we've gotten coming into um, yesterday's ball game was Brew Baker, not Brew Baker, uh, Brabender had an eight inning no hitter uh, spoiled uh, earlier. Is it earlier this season or was it in the 69 season? I can't remember now. It's all a blur. But that's as close as we've got since I've started doing this, uh, the baseball mogul sim. All right, let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe to the channel. There is a day off after today as we wrap up the series. So uh, we will advance a day uh, to get ready for the next series versus the Angels, uh, I believe, at home. Now we've got John Geldar on the mound today. The current Royals are batting 284 against him. Everybody in the bullpen is good to go. We have the Major League debut of Ruthven and Leonard. Uh, both of them did an okay job. Oh, Ruthven gave up three base runners, so uh, that was not great. But he did not eventually give up a run, so that's good. Uh, Leonard pitched well. Steve Busby is a right-hander. He is also a rookie in this sim, I believe. And uh, here's our lineup today. Versus right-handers, we're getting the rip in there uh, in the number five spot. In a weird way, he's kind of been our best hitter of late. Um, someone we've been able to count on in pinch hitting duties, and why not give him a start? Also, Rich Rollins will be in there at third base. And as a reminder, Jose Cruz is injured for another five days. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Pilots, and then we'll get this game started. Batting leadoff, playing center field, is Tommy Ag. Batting second, at second base is Van Kelly. Batting third, and in left field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth and catching is Daryl, I'm sorry, is Clay Dalrymple. Batting sixth in right field is Don Bosch. Batting seventh at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting eighth at shortstop is Jerry Devannon. And batting ninth is the pitcher, John Gelbar. Okay, Steve Busby, uh, I guess he's technically in his second season, making his 12th start. He's in there due to injuries to Les Rohr and Monty Montgomery. He's 3-7 and seven with a 4.33 ERA, 57 strikeouts and 79 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 2.69 against him. He does have a complete game. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 50%. He's got one excellent pitch. That is a sinking fastball rated in 86. Overall rated in 82. He's only 20 years old. And he's 
arbitration eligible at the end of the 1972 season. Looking at his log. You may have noticed on the title card, he's got a five-game losing streak going on with an ERA over five in that period. He's giving up a lot of hits um, and appears to be struggling. Now, he did face us way back on May 18th, and wouldn't you know it, he got the win. Went eight innings, giving up five runs. Only two were earned and ten hits. Okay, let's take a look at the Royals' defense today. It is the same lineup as the first two games of the year. So Severson at short. Uh, first base is Fiore, left field. Taylor all below league average and behind the plate is uh, Kirkpatrick, who has a 69 rated arm, so very poor arm. And we did get a couple stolen bases yesterday, including one by Tommy Agee, who's leading it off today versus Busby. Base hit in the center field. Do we want to go for two? Hawk Taylor has the ball. It's not Northy. Northy's got the rifle. I mean, it's speed versus a sloppy arm. 50 50. I'm going to take that chance. Eddie's safe at second. Good job by AG. If we hadn't gone for it, I would have attempted to steal. But um, I like those odds with Hawk Taylor out there. That is the team leading 19th double for Tommy AG. Okay, runner in scoring position for Van Kelly. He was the big hero yesterday, the official player of the game. And he pulls it to right, get down. Uh, it's gonna carry deep enough for the right fielder, Northy, to make the catch. I'm sorry, Kelly to make the catch. AG will tag and go to third. We will go on contact with Joe Pepitone at the plate. A ground ball anywhere but third should score the run. 2-1 count, and a ground ball to short. That'll get the run in. one nothing Seattle. A little manufacturing, you like that. And then Darren Johnson walks. He hasn't had a hit in forever. He has been walking lately. That, at least that's giving him a chance to keep his on-base percentage up. But he's been stuck on 99 hits. This is the fifth game in a row he has not had a hit. And he's watched his batting average drop from 277 to 268. Runner on first. Here's the rip. Came in at a pitch hitting duty. Knocked in some runs. And a base hit to center field. Johnson going to third. Opportunity here to add to the lead. Don Bosch. Struggling. He had two walks yesterday in the number two spot. Oh, one count, and a base hit, ripped into right field. Johnson will score. The catcher, Dalrymple, will hold at second, and it's 2-0. Great job by Bosch. Schlubs are coming through. Two down. First and second for Rich Rollins, and Rollins. Frozen rope to center. Oh, it's dropped, and a run scores. <laughs> Northy drops a line drive and hit him right in the... Uh, what is it, the meat of the glove? And uh, he drops the ball. So first and third, we have definitely got the uh, baseball moguling going on in our favor. And then a ground ball from Devannon will end the inning. So a little bit of everything happening there. We have a 3 a nothing lead. And we go to the bottom. The first, we'll take a look at the Royals lineup for today. Batting leadoff. In right field is Pat Kelly. Batting second at third base is Joe Foy. Batting third and catching is Ed Kirkpatrick. Batting cleanup in left field is Hawk Taylor. Batting fifth at first base is Mike Fiore. Batting sixth at second base is Jerry Adair. Batting seventh in center field is Scott Northy. Batting eighth at shortstop is Rich Severson. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Steve Busby. Okay, John Geldar, having a bad year, but he's eating some innings. He's making his 16th start. He's two and seven with a 574 ERA, 37 strikeouts and 80 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 305 against him and he's given up a team leading 16 home runs. 
Fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44%. The fastball is rated an 81. That's the only good pitch he has. Overall rated a 77. The 27-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of next year. Taking a look at his log. He faced the Royals two starts ago. He went four innings, giving up two runs on seven hits. He didn't walk anybody. And then looking back, there was a relief appearance. He went three and a third. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our defense. Solid everywhere you look. Um, we definitely have the B team in there defensively on the infield with uh, Devannon and Rollins. But behind the plate, we do have Dalrymple, who's uh, our best defensive catcher. Okay, Pat Kelly leading it off versus John Gelnar. One two count, and Gelnar strikes him out. And that's a good start to the ball game. One down. Gelnar definitely has a a puncher's chance of getting to 100 innings pitched as he strikes out Joe Foy back to back K's. Gelnar had 95 innings last year in the majors, and he's sitting at 80 coming into today. Ed Kirkpatrick pulls it to the first baseman and a 1-2-3 inning. We go to the top of the second. 3-0 Seattle. John Gildner has been our best hitting pitcher all year. Batting 235. And he hits it deep to center field. Caught just shy of the warning track. For out number one. And we're back to Tommy Agee. Started off the game with a double. Got everything kicked off. Two quick outs. And Van Kelly hits a sharp ground ball to third. And a 1-2-3 inning. So a nice bounce back inning for Busby. We go to the bottom of the second. Hawk Taylor. Yep. Taylor betting 266. 18 home runs. And another single up the middle. I noticed when we were doing the... Royals lineup. He's got 124 hits and a 70 rating. Double play potential here. Mike Fiore at the plate batting 350. Oh, he gets picked off by Gildar. Man, everything's going our way since the uh, ninth inning yesterday. Got to feel pretty good about what the game's given us here as Mike Fiore flies out to left. Two outs, and Jerry uh, Adair pops it up to short. Devannon making the catch. Okay, moving on to the third inning. Joey Pep leading it off. Slices it to left. Well, I can't believe how bad these batting averages are now. Pepitone at 273 and Darren Johnson at 268. We're just watching them go right down the toilet. Johnson grounds out. And the rip. Ground ball to second. So that's seven in a row now for Busby. We go to the bottom of the third. Scott Northey leading it off. Northey with that costly error. Ground ball to first. One down. Rich Severson striking out. What is going on with Gelnar? Not a strikeout pitcher. He had 37 strikeouts in uh, 80 innings pitched coming into today's game. So he's found a little bit of a groove. Oh, come on. A double for Busby, the pitcher. No surprise. He was probably due for a double. How many doubles does he have? Three doubles. He's got five hits and three doubles. This game blows. Well, is that going to open the door for Pat Kelly? Yep. So the pitcher doubles and scores a run. What a bunch of shit. Yeah, this is where the game is over. Just get it over with. So they get two runs back after two outs, of course. Because why would it play out any other way? Bosch. So we, we've had eight outs in a row. 
And then they had with two outs in the third, a pitcher double, which is like a f huge flaw in the game. They only get doubles. Rollins will take a walk. Second walk issued by Busby. I guess we hit and run with um, Devannon. He's decent at that. Keep us out of the double play. And maybe give Gelnar a shot. Oh, he gets plunked. So stupid. First and second. Well, we got a bunt. This will be a line drive bunt. And a double play. A comebacker to Busby. Yeah, it does work. At least it gets him into scoring position for AG, who will now strike out. Yeah, we're, we're going to lose this. I know that we're heavily right now, but we're going to lose this game. We're going to lose it big. And there's really nothing we can do about it now. Yeah, I mean, this game is over. 50 pitches for, yep, for Gelnar. He had all those strikeouts early, and that was them uh, teasing us. Northy. Long ball to first. Oh, a double play! 6-3. 3-6-3. Three, 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 three. And we get out of the inning without giving up a run. I guess we maintain a glimmer of hope. We, ha By the way, we haven't had a home run in like two or three weeks. I don't even know how long. It's been a long time. That's the one thing to look forward to heading back home to face the Angels. Yeah, we have not had a hit since the first inning. Gelnar has given us four okay innings. I'd like to get one more inning with, uh, uh, you know, with him going unscathed. I doubt that'll happen. Yeah, the worst hitter on the team. Oh, he lines out. Here's Busby. Pretty much ruined the game for us, breaking out. And Pat Kelly. Pays it. Yeah. Here comes the two-out rally to tie it. A comebacker. There. Yeah. Oh, well, Gelbar gave us five innings. I guess we have to be happy with that. I'm happy with that. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Yeah. These were the people that produced in the first, and that has been it. Dalrymple. Yeah, we're not going to get another hit. All right. Well, at least Gelnar leads, leaves with the lead. Um, we got two lefties coming up. So we'll bring in Ted Davidson. Round ball to first. And that's how we lose it right there. Yep. Just pushing the buttons. It don't matter now. So I'm going to bring in a right-hander, and he's going to walk the run in, right? Bringing in Dennis Leonard. Yep. It's, it's, it's a given. It's a freaking given. This game blows so bad. What a piece of shit this game is. There's Mo Drabowski. Bunt by Leonard. Yeah, we're going to get the lead back. So we blew the lead for Gelnar because why would a starter ever get a win? AG doubles for his 20th double. Hey, we got someone to 20 doubles. That's a miracle. I think uh, Sutherland led the team in doubles last year with 20. Still got a month to go. Oh, Kelly down the line. No. That's a foul ball, yeah. This game blows.
Pat Kelly's out. Top of the eighth. Darren Johnson, useless. So dumb. So, so stupid. There we go. That's more like it. Bottom of the eighth inning. Good job by Leonard. They bring in the other guy. Good job by you, man. Yeah, and then they got to get the two-out double because that's the way the game works. Bill Kelso coming in. He's thrown 36 innings, but he's been bad. Rollins walked twice today. Hit and run. Wow, Rollins gets a stolen base. That is his fourth of the year. Probably well, four out of five. That is a career high for him. Okay. Try to hit it to the right side. Full count. No, you dumbass. Ah, this game is it, just so stupid. Can't believe it. Um... Which garbage guy do we have to hit? I guess it really is. Yeah. What a bunch of shit. All ground balls to the left side after we get the leadoff runner second. Oh, man. So we, I missed hit and run. And then uh, a ground out that would not allow him to go over, even though I requested him to hit it to the right side. Why would that work when I asked for it? All right, well, this is where we lose it. Let's just get it over with. Wow, Peter's coming in throwing bullets. Barely enough time to think about it. Oh, fuck you. Got to guard the lines now. And we win on a caught stealing. What an absolute garbage performance by this game. Let's go ahead and play another day. Can't even enjoy the win. Okay, we advance a day, so we're ready for the Angels tomorrow. Got to see these stupid Royals once again. Let's take a look at the standings. Oh, there's a National League. Oh, look. <laughs> San Diego has been eliminated. At the third week of August, they are eliminated from the playoffs. Wow, they might not even get 50 wins. I mean, they're in a bad division, um, you know, to succeed. Of course, that ruins. Uh, we move up to fifth place, so. Uh, with the second worst record now in the American League, you know, it, since we brought up um, Ruthven and Leonard, we're two and zero. Oh. Um, maybe I should have just held off and take those losses. The games feel like losses even when we win. Headline news: There's nothing for two days. That's great. Good job, game. Uh okay. Bill Singer for the first place Dodgers. Well, he's been injured a lot this year. No, I guess he's just not one of their main starting pitchers. 11 games, and now he's out for a month. That's weird. And then Jim Weaver, Dream Weaver, pitched in four games last year. He retires. Oh, boy. All right, let's pull up the box score. Let's see what we got here. Uh, player of the game. 
I mean, let's give it to AG. Um, he went two for five, had two doubles, drove in a run, scored a run. Darren Johnson, I think we just, I mean, wouldn't you agree? We just got to take him out now. I mean, he's, uh, the game has obviously destroyed him for this season. Um, it's, it's trying to get his, probably his OPS down to what's it, whatever it's his average, 751. So he's still got a long way to fall. Um, so, I mean, it, we're waiting with him, uh, despite being terrible, but he, he's not going to get us anything the rest of the year. Dalrymple got a hit. Uh, Bosch had a big hit early on. Two walks for Rollins. That doesn't make any sense. The win goes to Dennis Leonard. There's his first major league win. Diego Sigui gets the save, despite being horrible. And Mo Drabowski takes a loss like it mattered. Okay, that's it. We'll come back tomorrow. I'll play another game. Until then, everyone, have a great day.